start with the name of Allah, who is the most merciful and most grateful. Dear students, class six. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome you in virtual learning system of Pakistan International School, Taif. <clears throat> Dear students, today we are going to start lecture number 10 in part one. And today we have lesson number four and the topic is Treasure Island. We have part one of this lecture, dear students. And today we will, uh, we will read the lesson. This is class six and guided English introductory book, page number 19, 20 and 21. And has your teacher, Sir Faz Nadim. So open page number 19, lesson number four, Treasure Island. <clears throat> Dear students, this is a story and I will start to read this. So be careful and attentive. Lesson four, Treasure Island. Treasure Island is a very famous story for boys and girls. It is about pirates and buried treasure. In the story, Jim Hawkins was an English boy who lived with his parents in an inn in the year 1760. A seaman, Bill Bones, came to stay with them. He had a sea chest in which he kept something valuable and he seemed frightened. Dear students, the main uh, meaning of the word sea chest means the people who are uh, traveling in sea, they, they keep their valuable things, a kind of, you can say, a pocket or kind of a thing where you can keep the things. And dear students, the meaning of the word pirates means those people who are just uh, robbers, but they, they are robbers about the seaside, means they rob or they just uh, stole the things from the sea. So we can say that they are the sea robbers, in other words. And what they about pirates and buried treasures, and those people who are always in search of treasures, but those, the treasures which are buried. Okay. He had a sea chest in which he kept something valuable and he seemed frightened. He was a pirate and he had a map of an island on which treasure had been buried. He had stolen the map from his companions. They found where he was and told him that they were going to kill him and take the map. Bill Bones died of heart failure when he heard this and Jim Hawkins and his mother took a packet from the sea chest to help pay the pirates bill. When the pirates attacked the inn, they were driven away by the police. Jim took the packet to his friend, Dr. Levisi and Squire Trelawney. Trelawney. The, these were two friends of uh, Jim. Dear students, now we will move to page number 20. Police officer went back to the inn with Jim. All the furniture was thrown about and smashed. Do you think they were looking for money? The policeman asked. No, sir. I think they were looking for this packet. It was in the captain's sea chest. I would like to give it to Dr. Levisi. Dr. Levisi was at Square. Trelawney's house having dinner. They were both surprised to see Jim with the policeman. Hello, they said. What is the matter? The policeman told them about the seamen coming to the inn and smashing the furniture. I think they were looking for this packet, Jim said. It was in the captain's sea chest. Jim gave the packet to Dr. Levisi and the policeman went away. I think these seamen are all old pirates, said Dr. Levisi. Perhaps this packet 
details where some treasure is hidden. Squire Trelawney jumped up. If it is a map, he said, we will take a ship and get the treasure ourselves. He was very excited. Wait a bit, wait a bit. Don't get excited. We'll open Jim's packet first and see what is in it, said the doctor. The doctor cut open the packet with his scissors. A map of an island fell out. All three peered at it and the doctor turned it over. There was some writing on the back. On the map, there were three crosses in, the, in red ink. At the cross near Spyglass Hill were the words, bulk of treasure here. The initials JF were at the bottom of the map. No wonder those old seamen wanted to find this. This is the map showing where pirate Clint hid his treasure. Hurrah, we have got it, shouted the squire. The squire was terribly excited. He could not sit still. They talked about the map and about ships and about treasure for a long time. Then he, then the squire said, we must go and find the treasure. There are thousands and thousands of pounds hidden on that island. I will go to Bristol and get a ship. You will be there ship's doctor and Jim will come with us as cabin boy. My servants, Redruth, Dossi and Hunter will come too. We will sell away and find all his, all this gold and come back very rich man. I will go with you, said the doctor and so will Jim. But this is a dangerous plan, and I am afraid of one man. Who is that? asked the squire. You replied, Doctor, for you cannot keep a secret. All these seamen know about this map. I am sure they are all old pirates. They will try to get it. They must not know that we have the map. They must not know that we are going to look for treasure. But I will be very careful, said the squire. I will not speak about it. I will not let anybody in Bristol. I know why we want to buy a ship. Nobody will know that we are getting ready for a treasure hunt. So, dear students, uh, this was this is the less uh, reading of the lesson number four, and we read the lesson. So, dear students, this is a story about the uh, treasure. Here, a boy, Jim, is over here, and his mother, and then there is a friends of uh, uh, Dr. Levisi and Dr. Terloni. They are coming over here, and they, the policemen came. They were just starting to investigation of a person who just uh, died, but the heart failure. So this is all about uh, this uh, uh, that Bill Bones, a seaman, was just died by the heart failure, and they were uh, uh, trying to get a map of the island uh, from the sea chest of the person who died so uh, dear students uh, this is the lesson and this is all about the reading now we will move to uh, page number 21 and that is about the comprehension and vocabulary comprehension and vocabulary so dear students uh, here is the page number 21 you can see over here yes and this is page number 21 we have comprehension and vocabulary. Complete these sentences. Complete these sentences. Here we have total, dear students, 24 sentences to complete. How many sentences we have to complete? 20. 
four let's to complete few from them so number one is one desh means very well known desh means very well known now how will you be able to dear students to complete this exercise once you will go through from the lesson then it will be easy for you to fill these gaps or blanks so number one is we are going to hear dish dash means famous famous okay good famous means very well known number two a sea rover is called a dash a sea rover is called dash what call it pirate yes a sea rover is called a pirate number three a sailor keeps his belongings in a dash a sailor keeps his belongings in a dash where dear students sea chest very good sea chest number 4 we take good care of something if it is dash we take good care of something if it is dash it is valuable very good valuable okay yes dear students so whatever the things we have they are valuable we always take care of them number 5 bill bones died because his heart dash his heart dash what failed his heart failed but number 6 he did not pay his dash he did not pay his dash bill good number 7 the pirates dash the in but the police drove them dash now two blanks are over here number 1 the pirates okay yes attacked yes what will be the pirates attacked good attacked the in but the police drove them away good drove them away number 8 furniture had been dash into pieces smashed good smashed into pieces number 9 jim thought that there was something valuable inside the dash inside the dash what would be here dear students inside the packet good inside the packet number 10 Dr. Levisi and Scott Trelawney were dash dinner. Trelawney, Scott Trelawney, and Dr. Levisi were dash dinner having. What will be here? Having good. Having dinner. Ten we have done, dear students. Total we have twenty-four. I will help you more, and then definitely will try to decide to. how many you have to complete yes number 11 they were dash to see jim to see they were dash surprised sir prized to see jim number 12 the policeman went dash the policeman went dash away went away okay so dear students here we have done total 12 uh numbers 12 uh, blanks we have completed yes there is so number number 13 dr levis thought that the seamen were dash and that the packet contained a dash now two blanks are over here number one that dr levis thought that the seamen were dash yes what the seamen were in number 13 yes pirates pirates okay pirates and that the packet contained a dash what packet having dash yani map okay good map number 14 the square was the square was so dash that he jump so excited excited so excited that he jump he jumped up number 15 dash means looked closely yes 
देश मीन्स लुक्स लुक क्लोजली सो हेयर विल बी पियर पियर मीन्स लुक क्लोजली नंबर सिक्सटीन द ट्रेजर हैड बीन प्रीट देश स्पाई गिल हॉल देश स्पाई ग्लॉस हिल वट विल बी हेयर नियर स्पाई ग्लॉस हिल Number seventeen in the initials J F the F stood for Desh F stood for Desh. What will be here, dear students? Flint, good. F stood for Flint. Number eighteen. When people cheer, they shout. They shout, hurrah. They shout, hurrah. Number nineteen. The square was sure that there was a lot of Desh. on the island and they they would all become desh lot of what lot of gold gold yes lot of gold on the island and that they would all become what rich very good rich number 20 but the doctor thought that the plan was desh plan was desh dangerous dangerous very good Number twenty-one. He did not want the dash. He did not want to dash. What would be here in uh, option number twenty-one, dear students? He did not want the dash to know that they were going to look for the dash. He did not want the yes pirates. Yes, he did not want the pirates to know that they were going to look for the treasure. good okay number 22 he wanted to be a desh he wanted to be a desh secret what secret number 23 he said that the square could not desh a secret could not keep yes and number 24 and last the square promised to be very desh to be very desh what will be here to be very careful careful yes dear students now we have completed the exercise a now exercise b is find these words in the passage and then look up their meanings in your dictionary what will be the meaning of these in your dictionary dear students yes what we have options number 1 is spy glass look up telescope yani bulk initials and hunt so what will be the meaning of this spyglass yani a small instrument like a tube that you look through to see things that are far away like the stars what is spyglass means dear students a small instrument like a tube that you look through to see things that are far away like the stars number 2 dear students we have here number to bulk here we have bulk means large amount most of thing sometimes we say this i got the juices in a bulk bulk means a lot of uh, many more most something large amount and then initials initials is the first letter of a first name and family name initials and hunt here we hunt a search for something a hunter means someone who is searching and the hunt means uh, a search of something so dear students uh, this is here we uh, completed the exercise a and b of the lesson number 4 and the lesson number 4 is the treasure island the map so on page number 19 and 20 and 21 so dear students uh, uh, now we have oral exercises pronunciation note a word ending in the letter s may have one of three sounds all the words in table 1 column 4 end in the sound z the words in the table 2 column 3 end in the sound s other words end in the sound is brushes brushes watches houses bridges read all the sentences in the both tables notice that in table 1 have is used with certain words in column 1 and so dear students all we have on page number 22 so let's have a look on page number 
22. Yes, students, we are on page number 22. Now we have over here table 1, table 2, table 3, and table 4. As I told you, these are the tables for the pronunciations. As in table 1, we read about that the words which ends with S, it gives sounds. What sounds it gives? It gives the sound of different sounds. It uh, uh, gives sound and it also gives sounds. Have a look over here on table one, dear students, that in table one we have, I have two dogs. Dogs, you have five eggs. We have a number of nibs. So the sound is coming over here in table four. The, the girls have several leaves. They have some bells. Bells. He has a few tins, cars, pens, like this. In table two, dear, these are kids. It gives sound. These are trips. These are shops. Those are not sticks. Those are not books. So, dear student, table three, whose book is this? Okay. Whose paintbrush is that? Means here in table three, it is belongings. Means who, whose uh, book is belonging to whom? Like who is book, whose book is this? You can say this is my book. Whose pencil is this? This is Ali's pencil. Okay. Or here in table four, this is my book. This is your paintbrush. It is not his dog. It is her key like this. But these are the teacher's books. Now here it is very important to see over here in box number three, the teacher's books. These are my teacher's pen brushes. Those are John's shoes. Those are not Mary's keys. Now here you see the teachers that apostrophe is given. Teachers and an S and apostrophe. It shows that something which belongs something. Or it belongs to someone. It shows teacher's book. Okay. Move to page number 23, dear students. Here on page number 23, we have exercise complete these sentence by adding have, has, is, or are. Number one, what we have to do? Four words are given have, has, is, are, are, or are, like, like number one, he, dash my friend, he, dash my friend, so what will be here? He is my friend, very easy. Number two, I, dash several friends, I have, good. Number three, she, dash an older sister, so she has, randomly I'll do. Number four, this, dash, good book this is a good book number five these the based oranges these are very easy number six john's father dash a car so what will be has a car number seven you and your brother dash a lot of books so what will be here you and your brother have have lot of book dear students this is actually the use of is okay has, have, and are. I have a book. Okay, he is my friend. So number seven, we have come. Number eight, this, dash, the best thing to do. This, the best thing to do. This is number eight. So what do we say? Very easy. This is the best thing to do. Number nine, those, dash, the people I met, those are. And number last ten, it, dash, fine today. It is. It is. Fine today. So 10 sentence done by me. 10 you have to do at home. This is kind of uh, homework, dear students. Okay. You do at home. Okay. From 1 to 10. Yes. I will just uh, underline these to make you understand. From 11 to 20 you have to do. From 11. Okay. Yes. From 11, you have to do till 20. Now, here we have a punctuation practice, dear students, in this exercise. And inshallah, we will complete the lesson today. An apostrophe is added before S. An apostrophe is 
is added before as to shown ownership. Rewrite the sentence as in the example. Ownership means, dear students, anything which belongs to someone. Like example, the face of my brother, my brother's face. So look over there, the brother's face, you can see over here, apostrophe is given over here. The brother's face here, apostrophe is given. Okay, so same, the dress of my sister. So how will you write? What do you will say? My sister's dress. Yes, like this. My, my sister's apostrophe, yes, dress, like this. My sister's dress. The house of my mother. What do you will say? Yes, my mother's house. Mother's house. Apostrophe is given over here. Look over here. This is. And number three, the hat of the old man. The hat of the old man. Yes, the old man's hat. Good. And number four, the mouth of the dog. The mouth of the dog. So, what do you say? The dog's mouth. Good. So, dear students, same we have four over here. We have done. now the back of the horses, the horses' back. Backs. Now, here we have the plural horses. So, the faces of the boys. So, what you will say? The faces of the boys. So, here, how will you write? Yes, dear students, who will uh, tell me here? Number five. The boys' faces. The, the boys, yes. Faces. Faces. Good. Dear students, here you can see the boys. Yani, if we have a singular sister, then we will give apostrophe before S. When we have a plural form like boys, then we will give apostrophe after the S. Okay. Now the tails of the horses. You can see clearly here. Yes, the tails of the how the horses' tails. The Horses, yes, give a possibly tails. Good. And number last, the wings of the birds. The wings of the birds. So here will be the birds, birds, wings. Okay. So, dear students, this is a uh, whole about today's lecture. We have done uh, many things. Now you have, you can go on page number 24. A few exercises are given over here and you can check these exercises and they will help you to do. Yes. Yes, dear students. Now we are on page number 24. On page number 24, dear students, we have a few more uh, blanks over there. We will try to complete these as well. Now here we have number eight, the shouts of the girls. The shouts of the girls. So how will you do this one? Dear students? Girls shouts. How will the girls shout? The girls, yes. How will you give apostrophe first S and then yes? The girls shout. Okay, good. And number uh, nine, dear students, we are here. The cries of the birds. Birds, the birds cries. The birds cries. Now here are the heads of the men and the men's heads. Here, you, dear students, you have to listen very carefully. The heads of the men here, men is plural, not singular. Okay. And the men's heads here, the, what we have to do when a word which is going to become a plural with the spelling like M-A-N means one man, M-E-N means more than one. So we will give apostrophe like the C in the example. Look over here. Okay. First we boy means one boy. Boys means many plural so how it becomes with the help of s but here we are not going to use the help s men m a n m e n children ch child okay so the shouts of the yes the shouts of the children so how we write the children yes the children's shouts okay number the claws of the men the men's clothes. Good. And number 13, the heads of the women. The heads of the women. The woman. Okay. 
the woman the woman's heads and the last the faces of the men the men's faces good so dear so this is all now composition is given over here what is given over here composition so what we have to do here is a paragraph written in very simple english using the kinds of sentence you have already practiced read it carefully iqbal ali is my friend he is a clever pupil he has long hair he is the monitor of our class his father is a shopkeeper he has a bookshop it is a new building it is not old or dirty it has a lot of books now what you have to do write similar paragraph about two of the following your home your brother or sister or friend in the class your teacher use only those sentences that we have been practicing now what you have to do about you have to do, you have to write about how many two how many two of the following now uh, i am going to tell you to write about yes you have to write about dear students composition about a friend yes i am going to write over about a yes friend brother sister a friend this is a friend friend okay a friend okay and number 2 number 2 you have to write about your teacher your teacher your teacher okay okay i'm going to underline as well these okay for you one is a friend over here okay and second your teacher so this is your kind of assignment dear students you can say this is a kind of uh, uh, homework as you can see but this is very important write these in composition and send it to me by whatsapp and uh, keep in your mind that use only those sentences that we have been practicing dear students what what i told you that you have to use those sentences that we have been practicing over here so dear students uh, now we are going to move uh, the uh, uh, going to move to end of the lecture so this is all about today's lecture I'll see you in next uh, next lecture dear students the lesson number 4 is completed inshallah in next lecture we will start the uh, lesson number 5 uh, till that dear students allah hafiz and goodbye